Hi, it's me. Coming to you from the floor. Listen, I don't know what it is about me. I like to be on the floor. Does anyone else feel that way? Like I just feel solid on the floor. You know what I mean? I can't explain it to you, but um, my boyfriend makes fun of me because I'm always on the floor. Like there's a couch over there, but I'll be sitting on the floor. You know what I mean? Guys, I just wanted to pop in and <clears throat> film a quick little video and say hi and ask everybody how they're doing and really just kind of talk for a little bit about like what is going on in the world and I wanted to open a little package with you guys and just just have a conversation you know what I mean because at this point uh, for a while I have tried to stay like so positive about this and not really verbalize like exactly how I feel about like what's going on because I just don't believe in the fear mongering and I don't believe in spreading the fear around and and honestly to people who are not truly with Christ like when you actually tell people like what's going on like actually and truly what's going on like they just become so filled with fear and a lot of times anger and it's just not really like something that we want to deal with you know what I mean um so people are literally like losing it like people are literally so unstable and emotionally dysregulated at this point in humanity that like you can't even say anything to anybody anymore. Have you noticed that? That everybody is so quick to fight. Everybody is so temperamental. Everybody is becoming more and more and more emotionally dysregulated while the chosen ones and the children of God are becoming more and more emotionally regulated and more controlled and more aligned with discernment and peace and love and all of the good things that Christ has for us while the rest of the world is literally just fucking burning. Do you know what I mean? Like, excuse my language. But am I not, is that, is that not like literally what's happening? Are you not just watching it around you right now? Like people just literally falling apart, okay? And not that we don't fall apart because listen, I have moments where I fall apart too, but it's not the same. It's not the same. Do you know what I mean? Like these people out here can't control their emotions. They have no motivation. They like, it's getting worse than it ever was before, okay? Don't get me wrong. I see, I see the good. I do. Um, But I'm at this point where I, I want nothing to do with people. Like I want to be as far away from people as I possibly can other than being at my job. I love being at my job and I know I feel called to do what I do at my job. Um, but other than that, humans at this point, um, I just don't wanna be around them. Like I don't wanna be around them. I don't want to, um, <laughs> and again, I am not talking about everybody. There are so many beautiful people in the world, but like when we're actually looking at like how bad things are getting now, the way people drive, um, the way nobody speaks to each other anymore for the most part, the way people don't help each other out anymore. Like it just seems like everybody is just like all about your all about themselves. They don't really care about other people to the point where it's like wild. Do you know what I mean? Like to the point where I'm like afraid for the future of humanity based upon the things I'm seeing in people, you know? And, you know, it's funny because I remember getting this comment as a nurse, like it's a little bug. She's a little bug. You're over here, bug. Why don't you come get in the video? Why don't you come get in? Got my fat yoga mat over there. It's the fattest yoga mat I've ever had. I ordered this yoga mat and I thought it was going to be a normal size and end up being this huge, like, I'll show it to you. It's so funny. I'm going to use it. It's awesome. But I was like, wow, like, I was not expecting this, you know? So, I don't even know what I was saying. Oh, I do now. So, somebody commented on one of my videos, like, a long time ago, back when I was talking about getting into nursing, and they were like, oh, like, wait till you get into nursing. Like, the tests are really going to start. Who commented that? Who was it? I want you to like out yourself and tell me it was you because you are so right. Like, oh my gosh, you nailed it. Yeah. Um, the things that are, that are testing me right now, like I just can't believe that I'm dealing with some of the things that I'm dealing with. And it's totally aligned with like what I'm talking about in this video because I just cannot believe, like, I just can't believe people are the way that they are. Like, I just don't understand it. Like people are such shit that I literally 
cannot believe it. They stink. They they are such shit that, that that I walk past them and I smell them stinking because they are that much shit. Do you know what I mean? Like people. Oh my god! Like people who are working in healthcare. Do you know what I mean? Like people who committed themselves to being people who are supposed to like work in healthcare. I'm seeing it just everywhere. Like all the eclipse stuff. We have people out here who actually thought the world was going to end. Like I really just cannot get started. I can't get started with it. I just <sighs> Oh my gosh, you know, God is speaking. God sends signs and some people see the signs and other people just get real confused. Do you know what I mean? like real confused. And then you have like this group of Christians who go around on the internet and go around in life, basically, like spreading fear and spreading like nonsense and then making the rest of Christians look bad. You know, there was a lot of signs associated with this eclipse and I truly believe that God was definitely speaking. Um, but just some of the stuff I see on the internet at this point, like makes me stay away from the internet. Like there aren't too many people, I'll be honest, there are not too many people on YouTube that I even watch religiously anymore. I watch Isaiah Robin, I watch, oh, I don't even know. I think it's, I don't wanna say his name wrong, but I think the last name, I know the first name's Trenius and he has an awesome channel, I follow him. I follow Marcus Rogers and like a few other podcasters. I love Brett Cooper, I always follow her channel. And so there's like a couple people on YouTube that I still watch religiously, but for the most part, like I don't even get on here and follow any of these people because it is so fake. It is so fake. Like girl, shut up. And I can't with it. You know what I mean? Like I really just can't with it. And that's how I feel about the whole world and just like everyone at this point. Like y'all are all so fucking fake. I just cannot. Like I really cannot. So fake, no integrity, just fake as fuck. Literally just all about yourself. Literally don't care about nobody else. Uh, don't go out of your way for nobody else and it's just lazy and it's just trifling and it's just goddamn trifling. Do you know what I mean? And I can't with it. Um, so I just, I keep to myself. Listen, I'm gonna keep to myself. I would rather have zero friends than to be surrounded by sideways haters and people that are actually haters. Okay. Let me just tell you that like 98% of friends are actually haters and people who are jealous of you or people who are fucking nosy. Do you know what I mean? Like that's 98%. Okay, get the 2% that are actually real and you keep it with them and you get rid of the rest, all right? So, um, I order these, well, it's not really like an order, it's like a, it's like a subscription box, but it's a succulent subscription box and they, I'm trying not to make sure I show my address. They send you, oh, my sneeze, hold on. Woo! <coughs> 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 oh. I'm always like a three row sneezer, like three, four, multiple sneezer. Like I never just sneeze once, but. So it's a succulent subscription box. And every month they send you succulents. And unfortunately you have to be smarter than the box to get into it. And I'm having like trouble, <laughs> trouble doing that. But yeah, I don't want to like flip it over because well, it doesn't really matter. It's probably already been flipped over because there's plants in there. You know what I'm saying? Like there's, there's plants in there. Oh my God. All right. Now you're just, this is becoming too much. Okay. So you open her up. Oh my God. Did I get three this month? Usually you're just supposed to get two. You have to watch when you open her up because... There's dirt in there, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I didn't get three, the one just popped out. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what the fuck this is. Like, usually they always send me a succulent. Like, I think this is a cactus. 
do you know what I mean? Like that's a cactus. Where's the viewfinder? I don't know if this is even alive still. This one might be dead. I'm not even sure. This is a really bad time to show you this because now like this one's gonna be good, but that I don't know what the fuck that is. I'm gonna have to figure out if that's something I like plant or not. This one's gonna be good. This one will show you. This is how they usually come. <laughs> right? So they'll send you like a little plant all wrapped up and then obviously you need to like repot it like really soon. I love these ones. These look like peas. These definitely look like peas. I'm just like really confused about this one though because never have I ever got like a weird freaking cactus that's all dried up like that. Like what even is that? Blowfish Barbara. Oh, girl's gonna need her glasses to see this. I can't see this. Maybe I can revive it. That's what it is. It's a cactus and then a string of pearls. But they send you like a little card in the care. It's so cool, I love it. Oh, excuse me. I'm drinking coffee on an empty stomach. I shouldn't do that, but you know, I do every day. But this subscription box makes me happy every month. Like every month I get that and it makes me excited because who doesn't love to have plants like shipped right to their door, right? But guys, it's treacherous out there. And honestly, we really don't have much to worry about if you're truly walking with the Lord because the Lord just, I mean, I don't even need to say it. You know what I mean? Like say less, Elena, like the Lord is just the best. So yeah, I just thought I'd pop in, open this and just talk a little bit because like the whole eclipse nonsense and like telling people to go out and stock up on water and food and getting people all like afraid and then talking about, you know, the signs and like the X that it made over the United States, uh, crossing over exactly at a little town called Little Egypt and then passing through the seven cities called Nineveh and just all these different things and signs and this, that and the other. And I'm like, guys, listen, like all you should take this as like all you should take it as really is that like you should be believing in God more than ever now and you should be getting with God more than ever now. Like get on the team now. Like it is time now to get on the team of God and to join God's team because you should be able to see the signs around you, right? Like that's what God's doing. Like God is ringing the bells and saying, hey, like shit might be about to get real. Shit might be about to get real and you might want to join the right team. Do you know what I'm saying? Okay, so... Uh, yeah, so uh, have no fear because we don't need to, but definitely be awake and aware to what is going on around you and interpret the signs correctly, all right? And you see it amongst people and you see it amongst just everywhere. It's everywhere. People are slipping away, right? Losing their humanity. Mm hmm You see it? I do in my job. I'll tell you a quick little story before I get off here. So, and this relates to the, to the girl telling me that like I was going to get tests once I became a nurse. So I'm a nurse and I'm a damn good nurse. Okay. And my residents love me because I love them. And I take care of people the way they should be taken care of with love and kindness and respect. And it's far and few between that you find people like me. And I'm starting to realize that. And it makes me proud to be who I am, but it makes me afraid to be living in the society that I'm living in because I see how rare I am, okay? And I'm hated for it. I'm like hated for who I am. Christ said it, thank you, Jesus, he warned us. Because people can't stand the light, okay? People see me and they see how I am and they think it's, oh God, she thinks she is so much better than everyone. Oh, well, look at her just trying to be such a good person, just trying. Here's the thing is I don't have to try because this is who I am. This is who my father made me to be. This is the blood running through my veins. This is my intention every morning when I wake up to be this type of person. I don't have to try. And to to even pinpoint that at somebody just depicts exactly where you're coming from in your life. So you should probably just be quiet. You know what I mean? <clears throat> and so I'm at work last week and I had one of, you know, one of the residents on my assignment was a severe dementia patient. And so I went over at one point, once it became a little later to see if she was in bed and see how she was sleeping. And I find her on the floor in the pitch dark, crawling around on the floor under a bedroom window in the pitch dark. 
And obviously I'm appalled because if you're a nurse, so you already know, like if you find someone on the floor, it's a fall and you have got a lot of paperwork to do now. Um, so I went ahead and I put her in the bed or I put her back in her chair, pulled up and put her in a chair and I brought her out to the nurse's station. Um, obviously wasn't going to leave her in the room because she's restless. She's crawling around on the floor. Um, and the nurse who was sitting on that unit, who I did not know, I've never had a conversation with her. I've never even really worked with her. She looks at me and she goes, you're going to bring her back into her room or I'm going to push her back in a room. She ain't going to sit out here with me making that noise. I said, she's gonna stay right here or she'll go back in her room and I'll put the lights on because she's not gonna be left in the dark. She was on the floor. I don't believe you. I don't believe that you found her on the floor. This is a grown woman having this conversation with me, a grown ass woman. She's in her forties, this one I'm talking about. She's not even younger like me, like she's not even 30. You're in your forties, honey, you're older. You got 10 years on me plus. You've got 10 years of mental growth on me. I said, I'm not pushing her back in her room and putting her in the dark. She looks at me and goes, she's care planned to be on the floor. I said, wait a second. I was like, first of all, I've been here three months and I don't know that about her. I was like, so how about we have a conversation and you talk to me like a human and you tell me that because I didn't know that. Second of all, I'm not gonna leave a human being crawling around on the floor in the dark because that's not the way that I do things. Third of all, why did you become a nurse? Well, now she's just pissed, right? Of course, rightfully so, because people can't handle when you put it to them, right? They can't handle the truth of the ugliness of who they are being put back in their face because the majority of people are unable to see it and they will not do it. But I will because that's who I am. Hello. So I'm like, why did you become a nurse? Then she says, she ignores that. She goes, and you picked her up off the floor by yourself? You didn't need no help? I don't believe you. <laughs> I pulled both muscles out. I said, yeah, I picked her up my damn self. I didn't need help. Why did you become a nurse? And she's just looking at me, right? Because I'd hate me too. Honestly, if I was a big a piece of shit as some of the people are around me and I had to look at me and I had to deal with me being the way I am, I'd hate me too, bitch. I would hate me too because you know what? Oh my God, what a reminder of what you're not. You know what I mean? Ugh. So anyway, why did you become a nurse? Nothing to say, nothing to say. So I was like, she's gonna sit right here or you can switch with me and you can go sit on the other unit and I'll sit here with her. No, I'm gonna sit here. Well, let me explain that to you. So the unit that she's sitting on is, is technically an Alzheimer's unit that we split. And then the other hall, we also split. So we are two nurses that split the two separate units. So I'll sit on the other unit because it's busier over there. I'm answering lights over there. My residents come out and talk to me over there. Like I'm busy over there, but she'll sit on this unit and I'm answering her lights too. Like I'm dealing with her people too. And when her people need stuff, I go tell her, but she'll sit on D unit and sit over there where it's nice and quiet, where the people with Alzheimer's don't ring, where they're sound asleep, you know what I mean? Doing their thing and she just shuts them in the room and leaves them confused on the floor so she don't have to deal with it. While she sits at the nurse's station and does her little whatever and listens to her videos and watches her bullshit, you know what I mean? And I'm like, you know what? This is hilarious. You're such a piece of shit. You know what I mean? So I was like, well, you can go sit over and see and I'll sit over here. Of course, she didn't want to do that, right? So I walked away because I needed to go step away. Like my, my blood was boiling. I was about ready to knock this woman's teeth out. And I'm a Christian woman. And I have to remind myself sometimes, Elena, like you have to step away and breathe, okay? So I had to step away, compose myself, call on the Lord. He came, I was fine. I walked back in there and I said, well, I didn't say nothing. I walked back in there and she's still sitting there. So I just took a look and I saw it and I walked back. I was like, okay. So then the aide pulls me aside and I was like, okay, so she didn't put her back in the room. And she was like, no, she said that it's okay now. And I was like, yeah, I bet she did. I bet she did. You know what I mean? So um, she ended up letting her stay there. And then um, a little bit later, they went ahead and they pushed her back in the room. 
um, I went back over and I saw that they pushed her back in the room and um, they had put the light on in the room for her. So this girl wanted to start an ego battle with me over a resident being in the bedroom with the lights off. She told me it was too much stimulation. That was the other part of the conversation. It's too much stimulation for her. She's trying to get to bed. I said, she was on the floor crawling around. Like she was literally on the floor. Like I'm not, she thought I was making that up so that I could be right in the situation and have the situation go the way I wanted it to, which was her out at the nurse's station. She made it an ego battle, which if you don't know what an ego battle, an ego battle is a battle between two personalities based upon like, like pride and who wants to be right. And you know, it's, it's ego. It's like, I'm right. I'm the smartest. She's going to stay out here or no, I'm right. I'm the smartest. She's going to go back in her room. And it becomes like this ego battle where it has nothing to do with what's best for the resident. You know what I mean? And that's why I'm there. Like I'm there to take care of human beings in a moral way. Like I am not leaving a human being crawling around on the floor. I'll fight you right now, bitch. You want to fight right now? I'll fight you right now about it. You want to, you know what I mean? Like I can't help it. Lord, forgive me. I am who I am. I am what you made God. Like I am what you made. Like I will literally throw down over someone else. I don't care. This bitch made me so mad. So that's the type of stuff I have to deal with in nursing. That is a grown ass woman, a grown ass woman conducting herself like that. She didn't care about them residents. She didn't do her treatments that night. I noticed, I know, cause I, you know when the other nurse gets her treatment card and goes and does treatments, like you just see it. Like there are nurses who are literally not even doing their jobs at this point. Like it is so sick, the stuff that you see and the way that some people want to dislike you because of who you are, because of being a good person. Because here's the thing, when these shitty demons, they have to creep around. They have to creep around and they have to see, is that person gonna be able to see through me? Is that person, does that person care? Is that person really real? Is that person gonna be able to see it? They gonna be able to see through my bullshit? And then they see someone like you coming along. And they know you can see it because it's clear, because you know that you could just see it. You're a threat. They don't want to be around you. Right? They have to watch their self around you. They have to do right around you. <laughs> mm. Mm -mm -mm. Tastes good to be a child of God, don't it? Tastes good to be chosen, don't it? Ooh wee. Man. Thank you, Jesus. Praise Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Thank you, Yeshua. Ah, bosha mola, chich mola chada ko ta ta la mola cha chich mola ka da cha mola cha den bora ka ma cha tu la chi ma pa la ka ma cha la ta la mola ka po cha cha pu ni mola cha ta ti a cha mola pa cha ni na bo pa cha pa la pa ti nu ma ta ha. I love you. Keep strong in this world, okay? Because we are filled with demons. We are surrounded. People are literally overtaken by them and they don't even know it, okay? We do not battle against flesh and blood, my brothers and sisters. We battle against spiritual demons and principalities in high places. Rulers of darkness, there it is. Rulers of darkness in high places. <laughs> stay in peace, stay with the Lord because we've got nothing to worry about. I've got no fear. There's not, a, there's not an ounce of fear, an ounce of panic. There's nothing. There's nothing but love for the Lord, love for my dog. Where's she at? Where's that little bug? Where's that little bug? I'm waiting on my food. I'm waiting on mom to get me my food. Love for my dog. Oh, shit. Love for my plants. And just love for my life. And just love for who God has made me to be. And I have love for every person out there who watches my videos in love and in spirit. And if you're a hater, oh man, doesn't that just suck to be you? You know what I mean? You watch my videos. You've probably, maybe you've been watching me since the beginning when I was watching, like when I was in the woods, just a sad little person. And now I'm literally just thriving. You know what I mean? People waiting for you to fall down, but you just keep falling up higher. You know what I mean? I sleep with metal under my pillow waiting for demons. And I swear by that, so fucking try me. You know what I'm saying? Fucking try me. Make my day, bitch. Anyway, um, I hope you have a great day. Peace and love, baby. Peace and love.